questions for the student athletes? Um, I guess we'll start with with you, Trey. Why did you come to Arizona? Well, well, I'm actually not far from home right here. So I'm from Phoenix originally. And then the biggest reason just being the coaching staff, like I've been around them. This will be my fourth year now. And not only do they develop you into great football players, but they make you great human beings. And I think that's something that's overlooked often, but it's very important. Why do you think last year was a, was a breakout year for you? Um, you know, I kind of dealt with some personal adversity and in life, you have the option either sink or swim, and I decided I'm going to swim and make something out of that. And then, uh, what did you uh, take away from playing with guys like, uh, was it Fajoko mm -hmm. and Kate Hall, two all Mount West guys? Yeah, a lot of great mentors around me, great players, and same thing, great human beings. So I'm trying to learn everything I can from anybody at all. It doesn't matter. If I find something good, whether it be football or life, something to live by, I'm going to take it and live by it. Ryan and Trey, for both of you, how similar has this spring camp been to what you guys were used to at San Jose State? How similar is kind of maybe not the verbiage, but just how things are run in comparison? To be honest, it's about the same exact thing, just different place. Uh, so that made the transition very easy to come over here. I mean, we love the staff, obviously, but same exact thing. And for you, Ryan, coming over here, obviously love the staff, but what fully went into your decision to join Arizona? Um, other than the staff, I mean, I mean, it's just a great opportunity. Uh, but obviously, Coach Oglesby, uh, that's my guy right there. Um, I mean, he brought me out to California, a Midwest kid, We're both Midwest guys, got me out to California, and I was luckily able to follow him here. A question for both Brian and Alexander. Um, I've heard uh, Coach Oglesby is a really good educator, like really good at explaining the details. How would you explain it here from your perspective? Definitely. Um, I mean, I've been with him. This is going to be my fourth year, and his detail is incredible. Um, to get you in the right position on the field, I mean, you're, uh, he's going to get you right. And uh, in the meeting room, he'll tell you exactly what to do and where you need to be, and most importantly, why you're doing it. So he'll give you all that. Yeah, and uh, same thing as Ryan said. He's a, he's a really good educator. I mean, besides just doing what we're supposed to do. He's kind of explaining it as we go along. And he's, he explains it well to, to everybody, not just the guys who are doing really well. Like if you're not getting it, he'll stop. He'll make sure you understand. He's a really good teacher. Uh, Alex, uh, the, the transfer recruiting process, I, I'm guessing, is a lot of a quicker thing than coming out of high school. So you had to make a quick decision, come to Arizona, and then the coaching change happened. Does that actually make it easier to decide that you want to stay because you hadn't really built that huge, long relationship with the coaching staff? Uh, <clears throat> I'd say for me, the main reason why I stayed is the guys. I mean, yeah, Coach Calfusi and uh, Coach Nancy, and they recruited me. But the, the main reason I stayed here is uh, when I came around my visit, uh, you know, uh, we just – we were hanging out at some of the guys' house. Uh, and then honestly, it just felt like I was another Saturday at my cousin's house. And, you know, I just felt the love from all the players. And, uh, that's the main reason why I stayed. For me, um, I got recruited by uh, Brennan Carroll. And when the coaching change happened, it was, uh, it was a stressful week trying to decide what to do. I was, I was talking to my brothers, my dad. But uh, – I ended up deciding to stay. I wanted to be close to them. Like I was in uh, Illinois, I didn't get to see my family a whole lot. I wanted to be able to have them be a part of what I'm doing. Sure. And, and for both of you, uh, were you there uh, for the announcement of Mikhail? It's just what was that kind of like to see the, the just the, the whole team, the reception it got, and, and that what you were going to be a part of? Uh, the announcement when they left? No, when the announcement for the rest of the team at Mikhail when they said they were basically all coming back. At the UCLA basketball yeah, game? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, just walking out with the team, that kind of, that was a pretty dope experience, you know. Just, uh, the, that crowd was probably louder than any football game that I've played in, besides Montana State, maybe. And uh, it was this, just the atmosphere there, it was just, it was just amazing. Uh, we kind of knew ahead of time, just because we had a couple, like, player-led meetings talking about staying. Um, yeah, it was a it was a crazy experience. I've never really been a part of something like that. Um, I felt really a part of the group, like as we were walking in. So, Alex, you're from uh, Phoenix originally. Yeah. Uh, what can you tell us just about your, your childhood, your background, where you come from? Um, Phoenix. Uh, I'm not. My family wasn't really big into football. My dad uh, 
He's uh, he's from Afghanistan, but my my mom kind of raised uh, me and my two other brothers, got us into football. She was there. She was there for a lot of it, and she's kind of the reason I'm still playing today. You still have a connection with your dad? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're really close. He's uh, he's he's at everything we do. Um, he's definitely gotten more into football since I I started playing at the collegiate level. I was thinking that was from Afghanistan. Obviously, football's a little weird to him, I'm sure. Yeah, it was. Uh, it took a while, but uh, he's he's very invested in it. He, I mean, he he loves he loves watching. And how's it been uh, getting reps in at right guard? Um, it's a little bit of a switch up, but uh, it's it's been fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's it like playing with Jordan Poole? Is that is that like a little bit different than playing with Jordan Poole? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's different. 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 Yeah, um, I don't know. I I feel like tackle is a uh, is very difficult, and at guard I'm just able to take my technique a lot slower and take time to learn it. So I'm liking it. Trey, how many uh, guys did uh, did Coach Lima lose on the, the line at San Jose, like in terms of the rotation? Um, so we wanted to rotate a little bit more, but we rotated. I would say around. Eight guys, eight to ten guys. And is that kind of an indication that he wants to do the same kind of thing here? Uh, as far as having the freshness? Yeah. As as yeah. I mean, D line, you want depth. I mean, as a team, on the team in general, you want depth from top to bottom. But for D line, you know, it's a lot of work and sometimes it does get tiring and you might, a fresh guy might be better than you at the moment. And for them to be at that level and just pick up right where you left off, that's, that's how you win championships. And what was it like in games? As far as just uh, the amount of depth that you guys had on, on the line, were you out there almost every play, or were you able to cycle? So, like my first couple of years, uh, I kind of got thrown in the fire. I was uh, a lot of guys opted out of that uh, 2020 uh, spring season, at uh, the beginning of 2021, and I was kind of the only nose. So I was pretty much out there by myself. But as time went on, like my uh, junior senior year, uh, we ended up getting more guys, uh, you know, bringing them up. And uh, you know, just uh, teaching him, and uh, we had about two, two, three noses rotating every every series. But I was in most of the plays. Uh, for Trey Alexander, did you guys play against each other in high school? No, I don't believe so. I don't okay. think so. No. Uh, Ryan, where do you see yourself playing on the line, tackle guard? Where are you getting reps at? Um, wherever they need me, honestly. But uh, as of right now, it's looking like I'll be at right guard. So just. Working to get back, coming off a shoulder injury, and every day I've just been, you know, it's all it's about the process. So just be, taking it one day at a time. So I guess question for both you guys: uh, being on that right side, working alongside Jonah Sabinea, what's it been like, uh, you know, being on that side with him? What, what makes him a good offensive lineman? Um, his uh, his ability to to help me through this process, I've had to learn like a whole new playbook, and I've I've messed up a few times, and luckily he's been. Really patient, and he's he's definitely helped me understand it. Also, is so is Ryan. Um, yeah, it's been great. Um, obviously, coming in, it was his room, um, and he he welcomed me, um, and that that was that was huge. And we've been really working together, and uh, I'm excited to get out there with him as soon as I can. And a question for all you guys: um, EA Sports bringing in the college video game. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have all opted in. Um, just what do you think about that, and, and what do you what are your memories of playing the video game? I still played NCAA 14 up until now. So, I mean, it's one of my favorite games of all time. So I'm excited to uh, finally get get in it. So um, it's going to be real exciting. I think it's awesome for, you know, personally, like that's pretty cool to see yourself in a game and then with your teammates you spend every day with. But I'm a little more excited for my dad because <laughs> my dad loves football. That's That's why I got into football. So I can't wait for him to be able to play the game and like that's his son in there. Yeah, same. I'm excited. Um, uh, me and my cousins, we used to play all the time growing up. I remember I used to cheat because they there's a glitch in the game. I'll kick off a turn. You just have to go all the way to the sideline and just run straight down. And everybody will miss you. So, yeah, I'm excited. To... Uh, me and my brothers were uh, always big in uh, playing video games with each other. So when I told them about this, they were like, they're very excited. So um, I'm excited to get into that with them. All right, that's our time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Yep.